Okie dokie, we are back with a delicious recipe that is sure to transport you to the Italian countryside, pasta alla norma. It's my wife's favorite. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, here to show us how it's done is cookbook author and host of Laura in the Kitchen, Laura Vitale. Laura, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. And you just got back from Italy. I did. I came back a few weeks ago and I spent a year eating my way through to south of oh. Italy. Oh, a, a year? A, year. A, a month. A month. Oh, I was going to say. I was like, a wow. month. The invite. Although, it felt like a year. Okay. Yes, I've never, I haven't gone that long in a very long time. To be time. able to spend that much time is amazing. Yeah. So this is quite simple. It's so simple. There's a lot of different swaps to make it even easier. You're going to start off with some eggplant, right? Okay. You're going to just dice it into little pieces just like that. All right. And if you want to, you can just add the eggplant, toss it with so a little a olive oil. It, well, it, it is, but I also had a question about yeah. the, the striping. Is yeah. that deliberate? I leave some on because I think it adds good texture oh. and it keeps the eggplant together from falling apart. Okay. How are you supposed to cut eggplant? I think Craig's doing fine. Well, I, I don't know if you cut it in half to make... I would have sliced you, it. You cut your eggplant end. your way? You can I cut, cut my eggplant my way? Guess what? Right. It both gets eggplant? cooked. It depends on the size of the eggplant. An eggplant that size, I will cut it just the way he's cutting oh, it. Oh, respect. Right. So it's nice I and stand, easy. Respect corrected. to Mr. Melvin. Okay. And you cook it in olive oil. You do it in batches so it doesn't steam and until it just develops now, what a What you just beautiful... said there, by the way, I think bears repeating. Cook yes. in batches so it doesn't steam. A lot of people make that mistake. Yeah, and then you end up with really soggy, oil-dense eggplant rather than just a beautiful golden brown Take color. Take it easy with your eggplant. Just do it in batches. And if you don't want to, toss it with olive oil on a sheet pan for 25, oh, 20 it. minutes, okay. and it's super easy. Is that, right. is that, will this crowd Yeah, much. no, that's good. Okay. Now, tomatoes abundant all over Italy, of course, in the mm. summer, and they're used everywhere. So you just take a little garlic and olive oil. You don't even have to chop it. Okay. Let that come to a little sizzle. Add your cherry tomatoes, wow. a pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. I like your pinch. I like my, right? Yeah, nice, and nice and hefty. Nice and hefty. Put basil right in there. A little bit of basil. And you just kind of get that sweating. It's going to cook down for 20 minutes, become really jammy and sweet mm -hmm. and delicious. And when it's about 10 minutes away from being done, you're going to add the eggplant right back okay. in yeah. for that last 10 minutes. And in the meantime, you cook pasta of your choice. I love a rigatoni. I love a pocketty. I love a two Why do you pasta. like that rigatoni so much? Because it holds great shape and sauce gets nestled in there so beautifully. Nestled. And Jumped then once on. you drain it, reserve some of the starchy cooking water because right. it's going to help adhere the sauce to the pasta. Thank a little you. bit of parmigiano to finish. And when you plate it, you're going to add some ricotta salata, which what is, is going to add. What is that? It, think about it as like a really beautiful, hard ricotta, nice and salty. You shave, shave it, right? it right on. Yeah. My Uncle Tony actually will freeze it for about a half hour and wow. grate it. Wow, this is great. And then it's got a, that wow. beautiful so saltiness to it. It's simple. It's easy. You can well, use good. canned tomatoes, or you can make it all winter long. It's mm -hmm. so versatile. Kids love it. And it's perfect for meatless Monday. Perfect for meatless Monday, mm. and it's easy for for the kids because they don't realize that the eggplant's in there. It's cooked down for so long. Can you long. spice it up if you want? A lot of chili pepper if you wanted to. You could add a chi like an actual chili if you wanted to mm. for some heat. You can go a bunch of different ways in terms of shapes of pasta. It's very very forgiving. In the terms ricotta of the salata on top just adds that. Little salty, salty kick that yes, just brings it all together. Yes. This is delicious. Really, really terrific. Laura, thank mm. you so much. Great to see you, and I'm thank glad you're back you. from your year, your year in Italy. My year month. <laughs> exactly. My year month. Uh, guys, for recipes and more, head to today.com slash food. Mm.